What's up guys, my name is Jeremy with TheWarriorSolution.com. In this video, we're checking out the Range Medic First Aid Kit and Blowout Kit that is made by MyMedic.com. So first and foremost, full disclosure, this medical kit was sent to me from MyMedic in order to test and review for you guys. They did not charge me for it, they just sent it for review purposes. I'm not being paid by my medic in any way and I'm not being coached or told to say anything specific about this kit, any of their products or anything like that at all. My opinion is my own and in each and every video that I produce I make sure that I'm as factual and truthful as I possibly can be for your benefit and not for the benefit of whatever brand I happen to be talking about. All right so let's get into this medical kit and talk about some of the stuff inside. <laughs> Leave a comment for how many times I say medic in this video. Here's another one. I am not one. I am not a medic. I'm not a doctor. I am not a medical professional in any way whatsoever. There are really great medics that are actual medical professionals on YouTube, like Prep Medic or Skinny Medic. I'll leave links to their channels in the description if you want to check them out. But anyway, Range Medic, made by My Medic. This is a purpose-built medical kit for people on shooting ranges and people who are dealing with guns, essentially. So this is different from a traditional um, IFAC or individual first aid kit that is issued by the military because it covers everything from boo-boos and band-aids to blowouts and serious life-threatening conditions like sucking chest wounds and massive trauma that requires tourniquets. So the actual kit itself has a molly back that is velcroed onto the back of the panel. So the strap, you have to actually undo the strap and then you can physically pull, physically pull the panel away from the actual pouch and actually rip that off of your bag, your range bag, your kit, if you're wearing it on your kit, whatever, and basically go directly to the casualty with your uh, medical kit. You can also, you know, rip it off, toss it to someone else, toss it to someone who is actually qualified as a medic, not me. Anyway, so Velcro, awesome, cool feature. So to actually access the medical supplies in the kit, you're just gonna grab the top handle here and literally pull down straight down out and away and there's zippers on both sides as well as velcro on the top now the actual contents of this kit let's hop over to the workbench and talk about each specific item individually so that you get a better understanding of what's in here and why so this is the my medic range medic advanced there are a couple pieces of medical gear in here that do not come with the non-advanced version because it does take a little bit of specialized training in order to use those particular pieces of gear correctly and safely. Let's get into this and see what it comes with. So this main buckle here, this is a strap that goes all the way around and is actually attached to the Velcro panel on the back. The two Molly straps here allow it to be attached to, you know, a bag, a plate carrier, etc. Nice rubberized patch there. All right, so on the front of the pouch here, we have another detachable pouch, which holds a rat's tourniquet. If you want to learn more about the rat's tourniquet, how it works, how to use it, why I personally like one and have been carrying one every single day since I made the video, here, here is the link to that video. Now, <laughs> Seems like the world is divided in half on the rat's tourniquet. Some people love them, some people hate them. Honestly, if a Green Beret 18 Delta Medic designs something specifically for a medical purpose, that is good enough in my book and why I personally carry one. So, detachable tourniquet pouch, there you go. To get into the main component or the main area of the bag, you have these two zippers along the sides and the pull tab here on the top. And you can simply pull out and away and the whole bag unzips and opens up for easy access to all of the goodies inside. Now, when it comes to 
you know, a, a blowout kit or a emergency first aid situation where somebody is in serious risk of losing their life or limbs, the first thing you want access to is your trauma equipment, your trauma gear, basically. So that's why the tourniquet is on the outside of the pouch and the first thing that's accessible to stop any major arterial bleeding in the extremities, i.e., you know, arms and legs and things like that. Next up, first thing you'll see is a bleeding control dressing from Quick Clot. And this one is a hemostatic dressing, which means the dressing itself will actually promote clotting of blood as soon as you apply it. Next up is the emergency pressure bandage. And this one is actually branded from my medic. And this is also vacuum sealed. So what this is, is a pressure dressing, which can also be used as a sling in the event of a broken arm, for example. And next up here, we have trauma shears. These are also branded Mimetic, and they seem to be pretty solid overall. They don't feel super flimsy. They are a little bit small, but then again, the entire kit itself is, is fairly small. So they seem pretty sturdy and like they'll hold up pretty well. Then let's see right here. This is one of those advanced items that I was talking about. This is a chest seal for what's called a sucking chest wound. Basically, if you get shot in the chest, you're going to have a really bad time and your lungs function in a way that has to have a seal. So if you are trying to take in oxygen and breathe normally with a hole in your chest, you're going to start pulling in air through that hole and it creates the sucking part of the chest wound. So in order to fix that, you want to seal that hole with something, but allow air to escape so that you don't have air in the actual, you know, chest cavity. Again, not a medic, not a doctor. For all I know, that's completely wrong. This is just literally compressed gauze. So wound care, packing wounds. This is compressed gauze. Over here on the right side, we have tweezers. These are good for pulling out shrapnel, like spalling from steel targets and ricochets and things like that. I actually had to use a pair of tweezers similar to these, um, actually pretty recently, on a piece of shrapnel that came back and hit a person kind of in the hand and embedded itself in the hand. So I actually had to use tweezers in order to pull that piece of shrapnel out and we actually also use the second item as well, which is saline solution in order to irrigate and clean wounds. We did not have a, a MyMedic bag on the range with us there that day, but we did have a, a full medical kit that we were able to, to handle that situation. But being a smaller kit, you know, for an individual, this is nice to see because A, shrapnel in your body sucks and B, it's difficult to pull out if it digs itself in there. You can also use these tweezers for things like ticks and splinters and all that good stuff too. So we get tweezers, we get saline solution, and then this small tube here, that is gonna be liquid skin. So I actually haven't messed with liquid skin since I was a kid. And my understanding is that it's essentially like a liquid band-aid, basically. So you would put it over a wound and it would dry and create a protective barrier between your wound and the outside air. All right, at the top here in its own little pouch or its own little band, this is a small Ziploc bag with a pair of gloves in it. The left side over here, this is when you get into the way less serious situations. So more than likely medical issues you're gonna encounter on a range are gonna be something like upset stomach, diarrhea, you know, um, a headache, things like that. So this actually comes with, actually this is not the one. Hold that thought. This is the one I was thinking of. So this right here is your ibuprofen, your Advil, your, uh, 
Di diatomine? Diatomine? All your I don't feel so great medications, which is nice to see in a in a medical kit like this. And then this one, this is gonna be some burn gel, triple antibiotic ointment, and some sunscreen, as well as a couple other things. Just basic, you know, sunscreen lotion, burn shield. How many times have we burned ourselves on hot barrels? Too many times, probably. This is hydrocortisone, so you got anti-itch cream, you got lip balm, and this is a triple antibiotic ointment. So basically just all your boo-boo kit stuff, medications, upset tummy, this will get you start squared away. All right, and then here on the left again, we've got some antiseptic towelettes. This particular one is non-alcoholic. And then sting relief pads. And I believe there's a couple other things in here. Yep, so we do have an alcohol pad and then two of these non-alcoholic sterile pads. So sting relief, just basic, you know, quality of life stuff that is really nice to have and not really something that you think about. And then of course the obligatory band-aids for various boo-boos which might occur on a range. So that is, that is gonna be everything inside the bag and the construction of the actual bag itself on the front here that opens up, you've got all these spaces here where you can attach all kinds of additional goodies if you so choose to modify and add your own stuff. So that is basically everything that you need in order to keep yourself alive long enough to actually get some professional medical care, i.e. a hospital in the event of some kind of range accident, you know, whether it's something as severe as a gunshot wound, a sucking chest wound, you know, some really bad accident that requires a tourniquet on a limb, something like that, that'll take care of you as well as, you know, your everyday, my tummy doesn't feel good, or I'm getting sunburned, or I have a headache, you know, all the, the various quality of life, boo-boo kit type stuff. You get the best of both worlds in this kit. Thanks for watching. That's gonna do it for this video. And thank you again, my medic, for sending this out for me to test. Be sure to follow at The Warrior Solution on Instagram, Facebook, and check out thewarriorsolution.com for unique t-shirts like this one as well as several other designs, and I'll catch you in the next video.